Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Duke Silver and today will be the penultimate Storybook Brawl daily upload. Um, I'll be honest, I kind of recorded these out of order because I kind of figured out what my last uh, last upload was going to be and then we did this one just last night on stream and uh, and yeah, it was a uh, it was a banger as they say. So <laughs> so we decided to uh, I decided to choose this for my my second to last upload anyhow. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. We uh, we start with uh, or we're playing Merlin here. Uh, Merlin, a hero that used to be just like one of the best in the game, got nerfed, um, never really, uh, never really got back to prominence. Um, like still, still maybe a fine hero if like it's like it gives you a couple stats early, and like if you play into it, like you can, if you find enough monster books, you can, you can kind of get some benefit in the mid game as well. Um, but yeah, so uh, so we start with uh, with uh, with some econ there. We got a uh, got an extra unit on on two point two or two point one. Uh, so we've got five units going into three. We can fill up our board completely here, which is great. Um, if we were to just take another two, anyways, um, I think we're just gonna. I, don't, I think we're just gonna not gonna play the chicken here. Um, that way we can we can attack first with the, uh, the supported uh, supported dragon. Um, yeah, we're gonna take the we're gonna take, gonna take the free roll. Of course, it's gonna put an extra stat on this uh, wizard's familiar as well as throw a stat on the board. Um, it's possible that like we didn't necessarily need to support the dragon there, but I don't know for some reason it felt right But to be honest, I can't really justify that at this point <laughs> um, At least we, we cracked the uh, potion master's egg here, which is great. It's always nice to crack an egg We get a spell weaver to go along with our uh, withered familiar. I mean in, in general with uh, with Merlin like I said, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much just trying to pick up uh, pick up monster books um, That's generally my goal when I start a Merlin game um, just because I mean, I just I just like casting spells. Uh, I'm sure those of you that have been around for a while just understand that or know that <laughs> that I'm just a big fan of uh, casting a lot of spells, whether it's hat ball or or just a bunch of monster books and copycats and whatnot. Um, we decided to take some XP here. Um, we get a roll into a level four shop. Unfortunately, the only thing here is a soul tack, which isn't necessarily the best thing. Like we could potentially just sell for it. Um, like a 320 in front of this uh, this mim might be all right. Although the mim probably dies before the uh, the soul tack gets to finish uh, getting all its value, but it does act as like has a decent blocker. But without a, a range in the back, it's a little bit less uh, less appealing, I would say. And we want to keep this uh, the spellweaver up front because because it gets supported by the uh, the wicked witch. Um, and in the interest of trying to win this fight from with this XP, we're gonna take this uh, we're gonna take this mummy and hope hope that it gets a two for one. Unfortunately, uh, APOC is very, very large here. They've got a, they get their stag attack. They've got a couple decent sized vein pyres. Plus, this uh, this shadow assassin has been scaling a bit, so we do lose by uh, by a fair amount, taking a six six damage hit. Uh, we lock this friendly spirit just because, like, if friendly spirit catches a buff, which it does right there with that uh, cantrip, then that's really good. There's another XP spell here, um, and I think I'm pretty happy to uh, to just lock the XP. Um. Yeah, we don't want to spend too much time on level four necessarily. I, I would say, um, like I'm, like I said, I, I do kind of want to like um, hunt for for monster books, but but at the same time, you don't necessarily want to uh, want to force it. All right, manage uh, manage a, a tie here, which is fine as long as we're not losing health. We're uh, we're pretty fa fine with that. We get a we get a mummy triple or mummy pair here, but I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna take it, and we don't. Um, just like investing in threes, like when we're, we're on level five, it just doesn't seem like uh, all that appealing. There's a monster book. We do find it, but I don't think we're going to take it at this point. Um, I think like we just really want to buy fives since we're we're on we're on five two XP early. Our board's pretty weak. Um, we need to find a way to catch up and uh, and Lancelot is a good way to catch up, especially with this friendly spirit. If this friendly spirit can stats can can land onto the, the Lance here, then then maybe Lance can get a sleigh and we can get uh, get the ball rolling on Lance. Just trying to figure out optimal positioning here. And uh, we end up just selling the cat and throwing the Lance in six. Unfortunately, that's a huge, huge baby dragon. It attacks directly into our Lance. And uh, opposing Horde Dragon does have a, has a, have a singing sword. So we're going to lose that combat pretty decisively, thanks to all those tokens. Um, yeah, we got, a, we got a three pair. We're going to take this one. Um, I mean, I think it's just like early enough in the turn and like last turn, like we had the, the mummy pair, uh, 
like it was just uh like we we didn't really have much gold to uh we wanted to buy a level five rather than just invest in a pair um but yeah we do end up taking the pair here after we find another xp spell so we're up three xp now um so we do need to find something on six but we're going to be on six early which is nice and we're also going to get a slay with uh with lance here and it looks like we're going to get a second slay with the tie here Again, we're not losing HP, so we're fine with that. Our board's pretty weak, so if we can if we can manage a tie, we're happy to. Um, we get a sting out of our Wicked Witch triple, um, which is going to get Lance a lot, just too uh, too power shy of a of a triple here. I mean, we're on six. I kind of want to roll for a level six character, but also like I mean, Nian like level five treasures are still very good. So so taking this Nian is definitely not out of the question. Um. And we are going to end up taking the Nian, just in case we roll and don't find anything. We do get a little bit punished here as we uh, as we find an Oni Tyrant in the next uh, in the next shop, which would have been phenomenal for us. But we're just gonna we're gonna take this crafty, we're gonna bank this crafty, cast a candy can candy cannon here, and uh, and just lock this Oni Tyrant plus this uh, plus this mummy triple. Um, and yeah, the Fates uh, Fates has a ton of golden units, and unfortunately, we just don't we don't hit. Um, we don't focus down anything enough to uh, to kill any of the golden units, so we take take an enormous hit here. And now we're presented with uh, kind of a rough level five treasure selection. Drax Saber is just like so low impact in general, um, unless it's like early. Um, also, like Horn Horn like on this board, not that great. We do have the Wicked Witch, but it's supporting all the evil stuff we have in the front anyways. Um, and like, I mean, we're gonna. We're gonna want to play the friendly spirit with the Oni Tyrant, or we can just spec on this front, uh, summoning portal, and that's what we're gonna end up doing. We're just gonna hope for pumpkin, and we get this. We get a treasure map out of our uh, out of our mummy triple, which is fantastic. We just uh, reposition here, so we've got our friendly spirit attacking first. Hopefully, to get those uh, get those Oni Tyrant stats, and yeah, then we uh, we roll just a couple times, and we find the uh, the knee to lock. So we've got our level seven treasure set up for next turn. Um, we get paid off for for getting here early, and uh, and yeah, we're gonna be able to to hit a power spike of some kind with this level seven treasure. All right, and here's a here's a great selection of treasures. We got World Tree, which we've got the Oni Tyrant for, but like that still could take a bit to uh, to get going. Uh, and we are at eleven, so we're like we're not exactly healthy here. Um, we've also got Excalibur, which can add some instant stats. If there was something really good in the shop with Excalibur, I'd probably just jam that for. Uh, like it, like you can build a really good board with Excalibur, but uh, but I mean Holy Grail is the uh, is the play for the win uh, win treasure here, and I think that's what we're gonna do. I mean we're at eleven, we're at, or against the other uh, the other bottom board here, um, so hopefully this Oni Tyrant ends up being enough to at least uh, mitigate damage enough to keep us alive. Um, yeah, they do get the uh, the copycat attack, which uh, spawns a couple of uh, of Tweedle Tweedles there. Uh, they pop out a uh, an apple tree there, which is really really unfortunate. And then attack into our Oni Tyrant. I was kind of hoping for them to attack into the uh, into the wombat, and then we can maybe keep the Oni Tyrant ar around a little bit after it gets a it gets an attack. But uh, we do survive. We're at five, even though we take a loss. But uh, now it's time to Holy Grail. Um, we're just gonna buy buy basically everything that's evil. Um, We've got the summoning portal, so we're like pretty happy to be pumpkin. We get to triple an Oni Tyrant here. I think we're just gonna take the wand, and basically we're gonna we're gonna just double pick a morph as soon as we find one. We're against top board, so we need to be uh, we need to be overly cautious here, as uh, any 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 misstep and uh, and we just die. There's a uh, there was a couple apple trees. We just took one, just because we're we're kind of assembling a pumpkin board. We're trying to do it at a uh, at a high high speed, anyways. Um, of course, we would love a burn beard as well now. Now that we have the golden ashwood, um, there's also another echo wood. But like I was just at this point, I was just rolling down looking for that pigamorph, and unfortunately, we do find it. I did just grab a hold of it, just like a little like I made a move just just a little bit. I just couldn't drag it down, unfortunately. So a little bit tragic, but we're strong enough here against this apoc board, who has assembled a pretty strong tree board. So, uh, so they're certainly not uh, not weak, but we we managed to uh, to win pretty decisively. But that is going to be a challenge going forward. <clears throat> Generally, a lot of stats on the tree board is really tough for uh, for scam to deal with because you just need to you need to scam so many different things. Um, and like I considered, I mean, there's not really any level six treasures that we want to replace here. Like uh, even singing sword, I don't think is good as mimic portal with uh, with two pumpkins. 
So losing out on a pumpkin here, I think uh, makes this triple just not worth it. So we're actually just gonna roll past it. Like we just don't have the health to uh, to make ourselves weaker at this point. Um, and also we need our, our gold for uh, for a double pigamorphs <laughs> if we can find it. Or sorry, triple pigamorphs because we have the mimic. Yeah. So so that triple pigamorph would have been even more devastating if we'd actually managed to pull it. Uh, we are running out of gold. There was a croc there, um, which uh, which we might which might have been a, a decent option. Uh, but we're going to triple shrivel anyways and see if that does anything. Alright, one shrivel on the good boy. That actually is very, very good. We uh, we reduce these stats that the good boy gives to the rest of the board. And yeah, the rest of their board, like honestly, not that impressive. This is that horde dragon that had the super early singing sword. And it looks like they haven't really uh, haven't really hit too much after that. Uh, we get a couple uh, get a, a big pigs out of our uh, out of our pumpkin and manage to hit horde dragon with our full board still intact deal a big chunk of damage and knock them out now we're playing the Nihan over the uh, over the the Ashwood just because like I mean it's a monster so it gets stats if it gets to attack as well as it's got better initial toughness like of course Ashwood has a ton of attack but um, I figured just having the uh, having the toughness was uh, was maybe more what I wanted also then maybe it pops out a Medusa in that spot which, I don't know if that's necessarily better. That's, I was kind of hoping for a pretty specific thing. Um, again, we're running out of gold, and there's another croc, and uh, I think we're gonna just we're gonna just bury this, uh, bury this, this uh, position seven pumpkin, three crocs deep. I um, mean, with the mimic summoning portal, it does, it does add a fair amount of stats. It also protects it from like doom breaths and lightning dragons and lightning bolts and things like that, and smites, um, so. So that's definitely worth considering here. And yeah, the, uh, Apoc player has a black prism and yeah look at the size of this board they got a couple a couple very big echo woods here um and uh and yeah their uh their stats are formidable here fortunately uh, i mean that's a pretty good cupid attack it takes away a lot of toughness from their board and yeah you can see the kind of the benefit like if we, if we hadn't buried this uh this pumpkin um then we would have popped out uh, a bunch of summons with uh with less board space so the fact that we get our full uh, our full summons, I mean, I think we we we, we will probably win either way, just because based on how uh, how many units we had left. But in general, that uh, it's just going to give us more stats from our summoning portal, just because we're able to um, we're able to just like get get more board space basically and get more summons out. All right. Um, we have the ghost fight here, so we've got kind of a free turn, and uh, I mean, I see another croc. I mean, let's bury the other uh, other pumpkin three crocs deep. So, uh, so yeah, now you're starting to see why uh, why this game uh, this game kind of made the cut. I mean, basically, we're just gonna try and croc as many things as possible. We're not gonna be able to black prism croc, but I mean, just being able to uh, <laughs> to throw a bunch of crocs on the board that count count as evil summons. Is, uh, is pretty fun anyways. Uh, pretty strong fourth place board here from uh, from QWERTY, who, who by the way, shout out to QWERTY, who is uh, a, a regular in uh, uh, in my in my Twitch chat. You can see them in, in the chat there, Master Trollolol, shout out to them. Um, regular sniper, and yeah, makes a... Uh, um, yeah, like, I mean, I, I guess like you can't really snipe, snipe me in, in, uh, in Storybook anymore, but... Uh, but yeah, I encourage people to, to snipe me. It makes the games a lot more fun. And um, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun for, for viewers to be able to, to play with me. And we find another croc, by the way. Um, and yeah, we're going to croc this Echo Wood. Because if this Echo Wood pops out with this triple croc and we just get a bunch of summoning portal, it sees a bunch of summoning portal stats, it can actually be very, very good. And we're actually going to get a, a one now, now that we're down to our top two. Um, sorry, I just had to cut off that thought. Uh, <laughs> kind of kind of mid uh, mid thought. Um, because of the the triple croc there, that's kind of kind of the linchpin of uh, of this. The reason this this video kind of made it. Um, we're gonna sell a couple things for um, for some pigs. Just gonna add more stats to our summoning portal. And yeah, it looks like they hit a knighthood on uh, on their black prism turn last turn or with their black prism last turn, and they knighthood their entire tree board. So the amount of stats over there, they got that's some thousand toughness echo woods over there. So that is gonna be very very tough to beat. <clears throat> Um, yeah, we get down to our last last uh, croc. Also, there um, um there was a, there was a suggestion in chat to uh, to just play the the, the tripled croc. 
um, by itself on the board and just see if that was enough to win but i i didn't end up doing that but honestly like um with the mimic and with mimic feather like it could have worked out although like the summons could have uh, could have like popped out really awkwardly and we could have lost a bunch of board space um but anyways yeah we finally pop our last pumpkin and yeah look at these the size of these summons all these summons getting over plus 100 plus 100 from the summoning portal and uh, yeah we just managed to outstat those thousand health echo woods and and take them down with just summoning portal pumpkin stats like we did we didn't do a ton of scamming in this fight um we did a little bit but <laughs> uh but yeah just like pump this is just like the ultimate pumpkin portal comp i think and uh yeah this one this one was a ton of fun um but yeah there we go the uh penultimate uh storybook brawl daily upload i hope i hope it was enjoyable um please do all all the fun stuff i'm supposed to tell you to do like comment subscribe you know all that all that stuff um i'd very very much appreciate it and yeah we got one i got one more regular storybook stream that i'm gonna do tonight and then uh tomorrow is uh i'm gonna do like a retrospective watch party on my twitch so if you are uh interested in uh in checking that out and hanging out with us then i'll be doing that around 1 p.m pacific time tomorrow and my twitch is uh in the always in the, in the description so uh, i would love to see you over there um all right with all that being said i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i will see you tomorrow